Yeah, this is high stakes indeed, Jimmy. One of my favorite coaches, John Gruden, used to always say, this is an easy game, but it's hard to play. And it's hard to play because it takes discipline, commitment. You commit yourself in the offseason, the offseason workout programs, the training, guys to move in different positions, just to put yourself in a position that you can win and advance. Eight points a game and 33 sacks starting up front. Cole orders me the top dog along with Compton, Baldwin, and McGee. And you look at your linebackers, Mike Joseph will be the signal caller in the middle and your secondary. Ball Hawks, 16 interceptions, Huff and P on the outside playing the corner position. When you only have one free safety in Martucci, you have to get a guy like Faison who could play that middle of the field between the two hashes. Faison does an excellent job. And you know from being a running back, he's used to getting that ball in his hands and just trying to create some space. Again, playing that center field, that one deep look. You know, Keith, a lot of teams that have good offensive production do a great job utilizing their tight ends. And this is what they do. You take Connor Cobain, you run a little out route. Again, that little soft spot between the numbers and the hash is a great spot for tight ends. College, pro, high school, you always see tight ends using that area of the field. Yeah, New Canaan got off going in this first drive past the Connor Kilbane, getting up the field on those seam routes, tough running. This was set up. Your number 49, your bus driver, Kevin McDonough, seven zip, new Canaan. He's a young guy. We talked to Coach Raffone this week. He said that Giswaldi was an intense competitor. Six interceptions on defense, 10 touchdowns offensively. He has a knack for the football. And we look at the balance of this blue wave offense, 160 yards rushing and passing, a very balanced attack. And this has to happen today for this team to be successful. You're going to see Harlan Smith run an excellent route and just go right behind the defenders. He was defended as well as you could by Greg Strauss on that play, but when you're 6'3", 160 pounds, legitimate six feet high jumper, you're able to make those kind of plays. The flight that I saw on this field goal was going to the right. This field goal was going to the right. It gets tipped and gets straightened up and wobbles itself in between the uprights. We talked about that outside running in the first half, Keith, and how that blocking on the perimeter was very important. You're going to see James Frashanti making an excellent block that enabled Nick Curry to score in this touchdown. Again, this is a cutback draw delay. You're going to see that number four block come across the screen, which enables Nick Kelly to get to the outside. That is an excellent team effort. You're talking about a 7-7 seven and seven team. Most teams that don't have that kind of leadership in the locker room would fall after 7-7, seven and seven, would not win those last two games, would not put themselves in that position that the Giants put themselves in for January. And I love the way Aaron Berndino went up for that football. I mean, you don't see a lot of high school players have that kind of timing and rhythm the way you went up for that football. I think he, he jumped up right at the, at the right time. This is the kind of effort you want to show in a coaching tape. How do you play a ball defensively, and how do you go up for a ball offensively jumping at the right time? Well, you talk about Stacey Bedell feeling like he's been here for six years. He's really your once every 10 year type of back. Two words, rare ability. And Jimmy, you know I've played for a lot of running backs. He's got the rare ability to have great body control, great in traffic, and always has the ability to explode. When you average 13 yards a catch, you're special. To win in this city, in the number one media market in the country, um, the biggest city in the country uh, is tremendous, and especially because the presence has been set. The history of this franchise, you know, four Super Bowls now, you know, joining that elite class. Uh, speaking of elite, uh, the manner in which it was done, as Paul mentioned, uh, it, it's just been tremendous across the board. You know, Keith, when I said that you've got to be conservative and just try to run the ball inside and trying to create some plays, I wasn't talking about a 65 yard touchdown. Look at this excellent execution by this gap blocking. Jack Gibson on the pull, same thing they did on, on the touchdown. Jack Gibson on the pull, everyone blocks down, the pull traps around, it creates a huge hole and great open field running by Zelko. That was an excellent job, 65 yard touchdown by a play that's designed to go five, maybe eight yards and just keep the chains moving. But if you run the play well, everyone executes, no matter what's called, any play can score. That is an excellent job by Staples. We've seen a different football game this second half by these Staples.